when I first started working on projects, I was confused about who stakeholders were. Were they my boss? Were they the executives? Who were they? Now, I've since learned that a stakeholder is just anyone impacted by the project or who could have an interest in it. If I had known that earlier in my career, I would have managed them and communicated with them and worked with them a lot differently. Because making sure that your stakeholders have the appropriate amount of information about the project is critical to success and to having good working relationship. So let's dig into who stakeholders are, why you should care about them, and how you can keep them engaged in the project. As I mentioned, a stakeholder is just anyone who is impacted by a project or who has an interest in it. So this includes groups like the project team. They have an interest in the project. This includes the project sponsor. This includes the organization that created the project. And depending on how big you make your target group, it could mean any customer who will use the product. It could mean governmental agencies who might have an interest in how your product will change or modify or impact laws or regulations. So one of the first things to do when you have a project is to sit down and figure out who are your stakeholders and what kind of interest and impact do they have in the project. For example, if I'm building a new widget that I'm going to sell, my customers are stakeholders. But I don't have to go ask every single customer about the project. Maybe I pick a few or I have some way to research and understand them. Whereas the executives who are sponsoring the project, they might need to be managed a lot differently because they control the budget and can help block or unblock the project. So one of the first things I like to do is make what's called a stakeholder matrix. Basically just a table showing all of the stakeholders and then a few pieces of information about them. Are, how interested are they? A lot or a little? How much could they impact the project if they decide to, a lot or a little? Going through this exercise will help you understand these stakeholders and by extension what they need in order to feel comfortable with the project. Understanding what communication they want is also important. One of the first things I tend to ask stakeholders is, do you have any communication preferences? Some are okay with a Slack message once a week. Others want to have a detailed hour-long discussion every few weeks about the project. Others just want an email. So understanding who wants what and when will help you better manage those relationships by making sure those stakeholders have the information they want and can access it in a way that makes sense for them. Another thing to consider with stakeholders is who are you missing? When I sit down to think about stakeholders, I can come up with a pretty good list of them, but I'm probably not considering certain groups of the company or different areas. So when I talk to stakeholders, I also tend to ask them who else should I be talking to about this project? This will help me uncover as many stakeholders as possible so I can then analyze them and meet their communication needs. For example, you may not realize there's an internal audit team that you have to be updating about your project. Or maybe you didn't realize that legal needs a say in this new feature you're developing due to some regulation. This is just a super high level look at stakeholders, but every project has them. So it's important for you to make time to understand who they are, what they need in terms of communication and support, and then to make sure those needs are met. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about projects, particularly stakeholders. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these videos soon. Mm -hmm.